Alright y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel that I haven't been on in, you know, forever, but that is not the point. The point is I'm here now, <laughs> you know. Um, it might be a little shaky, guys, because I'm driving. I'm gonna, you know, vlog my way to work, is that what you call it? And, um, I got a raggedy ass stand, I guess, that likes to shake a lot. So, I recorded yesterday and I was like, I'm uploading this video today i told y'all that in the video and get home and my freaking wi-fi was down somebody next door decided to cut down some trees and limbs and all this stuff and i guess they cut the wire pissed me off all night long and then this morning it was still wasn't working so i was like i'm gonna vlog again on my way to work you know we're gonna do it all over once upon a time, not long ago, what was I? Oh, hey, and I'm a mini. I can't get that song on my head. I don't know why. <sighs> Maybe it's a sign to not be a hoe. I'm not a hoe anymore. You know, I put my hoe drawers up. I put them, put them, put them way in the back of the dresser. You know, in my drawers, in my drawers drawer. Everybody got a drawers drawer. I do. I put them way in the back. I got a drawers drawer. They Billy got. I had a shoe rack that hangs on the back of the door, one of those like plastic ones, you know, where you see people turn them into like a treat thing in the pantry. And that's why I put Billy's drawers in, y'all. And when I don't do his laundry, you know, because one time when he was really mad, he said, I don't need you to do my damn laundry. I can do my damn laundry myself. <laughs> and one time he said that, and ever since then, I've been like, you know what, I ain't got to do his laundry. I do it every now and then. But anyways, he took it back the other day. He said he was sorry. He said he didn't mean it. But, um, if there is, if his draws are not in that thing, he'll think he got no draws. He don't want to look for nothing. Anybody else's man do that? I hope y'all can hear me, and I hope it's not too shaky. Because I look a little shaky. It look like I got a little Parkinson's, and I'm holding my camera. Um, so yesterday, back to what I talked to y'all on my vlog on my way to work about was, um, I got my Christmas shopping done. No, not all the way. I can't tell all the gifts on here because my stepdaughter watches me sometimes. I can't tell her gifts, but she better be excited, you know. Um, my grandbaby, we got him a walker. It's like a car, you know, the car walker. I think it's like a convertible Mustang. I don't know. We got him that. Then I got him a big old um, activity mat. It's like a big old plush bear. It's huge. So cute, and some little baby toys. And my nephews, I can't say what I got them because they watch me too. I can say what I got my mama because I'm pretty sure she's not gonna watch this. And plus, I already told her, really, you know. <laughs> but my mom, she started to dress up and stuff now. You know, she's going through that whole midlife crisis thing. I guess, I don't know. So, my mom likes to use, um, drugstore makeup, Walmart makeup. I ain't nothing wrong with Walmart makeup, y'all. Because I use that It found True Match Foundation. And, um, my mama, she, uh, sorry, guys. Guys, dig in my nose. Close your eyes now. I said, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I feel like something was hanging. But, anyways, um, so I got my mom some Ulta makeup, a good palette, some good brushes, because probably still over there doing this trying to put her base on probably use the q-tip to her finger to put her mask her eyeshadow on i got her some good lippies um i got her victoria's secret gift set because y'all know i went to bath and body work to get these all the women in my life like lotion and spray because whatever and it was going to, for to take care of like eight people it was going to run me like 130 bucks so I was like, let me go to Victoria's Secret and see if they got anything different. So I went over there and they had a gift set by to get to free. So I ended up taking care of eight people for like 70 bucks, you know? It was less than $10 a person. I was like, woo, woo, hootie hoo. I was happy to have. I'm on my way to work. I hope, I hope that I can be off tomorrow because I really, really, really all this working. I really hardly ever do anything for myself, so I want to go and upgrade my phone and get me an Apple Watch. Y'all know I always have 
not gonna get no damn Apple Watch, but I kind of want one. I don't know why. Probably just because I ain't got shit else to do, you know? Whatever. But I want the 11. I know a lot of people, well, I be saying a lot of people like it's a lot of people. My cousin told me to get the 12. We'll see. The gag is, if I get the 11, that is basically just like the 12, and I add me a good old Apple Watch on there, I pay the same damn price as the 412, and I do 11, and the damn Apple Watch. I could keep my 8 Plus, because that's what I got now. But I think I'm a little brave. I don't know. Don't fix it if it ain't broke, right? That's how you get rich. I heard that one time, but yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, uh. Also, what did I get? I had something. Oh, I we should be. I need to be taking it off because I think we're going to Paducah, Kentucky, in January. Ooh, it's too early to be on, and you ain't even got your day started, girl. I think we're going to Paducah, Kentucky on the 9th. I need to go in and put off for it today. Um, my uncle's getting married. Um, Michelle, if you're watching this, we may just swing on through because I believe you're an hour or so from there. I don't know. I just thought I heard that before. I thought it is. <laughs> but I don't know. Bowling Green, Paducah, maybe. Possibly. Shout out again to Melissa because Melissa sent me those flowers, girl. And Billy was like, he texted me when he got home, and he was like, who the hell is sending you flowers? And I just had to tell him. I was like, Melissa sent them to me. He was like, but Melissa is going to get your damn head busted. Bro, calm down. I said, calm down. I put your flowers inside her flowers. You know, the roses you bought me the other day. He said, my shit leaning over and look like they about to die. Okay, but still, I still put them in there. You know, it's, I didn't throw yours away. I still added them to the bouquet. I'm a rhymer. I'm a poet that I didn't even know it, guys. Quit working, be a rapper. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Y'all, I hope, I don't know who follows Jay on TikTok. Jay Sona, Jason. But... I really hope that he does a meet and greet thing. I told that bitch. I said, do a meet and greet, bitch. Because if you do, let me know ahead of time. Because I'm coming. He really needs to do one. I know he's probably like the only little person. I don't know. She took mom was up there close to him, I think. I think they should do a meet and greet. You know, because I'm kind of... I really like them. They're good people. Um, who else do I want to meet on TikTok, y'all? I want to meet all my little people, like, um, Pam, I don't know why me and Grizz haven't met yet, bitch, you like 30 minutes from me, an hour or so, I, and then I'm coming to Germantown, what you said, you don't say in Germantown, do you say Coyville? I don't fucking know, but I be, if I get off tomorrow, I'm coming to Germantown to get me a new phone at the Apple store, <sighs> I'm coming. Braden's nanny, I need to meet the young Melissa, of course, I need to meet Melissa, there's so many people that I want to meet, y'all, TikTok has really been a good platform, you know, like, to meet friends and really good people, like Michelle, Sherry, we're going to see Sherry, we gotta go see Sherry, <coughs> after the first day of the year, bro, we have to go to Poplarville, Mississippi, slash Louisiana, so that we can see Sherry, we gotta get down there, oh, no, baby squirrel, oh, okay, I made it, we gotta go down there and see Sherry, um, yeah, we gotta go see Sherry, in my mind, I'm thinking about that baby squirrel, it's a heart probably beating so damn fast, and then, after that, we have got to get together, tequila, y'all know Miss Tequila, y'all follow Miss Tequila, girl, I have to shout her out every video, since that's my grand grand, and she always thinks people will follow her if I say, shout out Miss Tequila girl. You know, she got a lot of followers though. She's really good people. I love Miss Tequila. She's crazy. I told them we could just build us a little land, you know, all four of us move away and live by ourselves. But of course, Michelle was like, we got to build a Tracy because that's Tequila's real name. You know, that's her government name in case anybody want to like arrest her, you know, or something for doing stuff that I don't know, but arrest her if the police are watching. That's our government name, Tracy. And, oh, we gotta get to Canada, too. I 
could get to Kansas and see my other trades. Yeah, I really want to go to Kansas. But well, we're going to go to Oklahoma. We're going to get to ADHD. Slow down, Alex. You was talking about going to Oklahoma and you and Tracy and y'all buy some land and live in there. And Michelle's like a carpenter. She can build you like a house. She can build you whatever you want. So build Tracy one. And then Michelle's like, we'll put her all the way as bank because you like to be naked all the time. We're going to build that bitch a fence. We're going to build her a couple fences. You know, around, around, so we make sure we don't see that, we don't see them titties and stuff flapping back there, tequila, okay? But y'all saw Miss Tequila on TikTok, if y'all don't already, it's MS Tequila Girl, you know, I'll, how I spell tequila, T-E-Q-U-I-L-A, something like that, I really don't know, but I just tried it, it's Tequila Girl, y'all follow her, James along, he drove all the way to Alabama, that was like a 10 hour drive. We're gonna go have to go back up there. I mean, we're gonna have to all get together and drive to see him because I feel like that's what friends do. He came here to see us and have a meet and greet. Bitch, we gotta go up there and see him, okay? Plus, stuff is illegal up there, you know? I had a cookie, bro. A cookie that my sister in law brought back. I just had a little tiny little cookie. No, by that big. I didn't realize that it was one of the good cookies. And I was sitting at her house for like two hours and nothing happened. Then I got on the road and I was about to go to the casino. I was all by myself. I guess it's been about two and a half hours, 2.45, something like that. And then all of a sudden, my speed hand dropped from 70 because there's a speed limit down to like 45. And then there was like this country song. That country song that said, he ain't got my eyes that don't bother me, bitch. Next I know I turned into a rapper and I was going like 45 with my mouth wide open. I was stuck. I had I couldn't do it to eat that no more. Don't eat them cookies up their house no more. Leave that shit for them. You can't be doing that stuff, girl. Y'all, I order, if you can see, I ordered me a ring because okay, I wanted a mini ring that fit like, you know, above the knuckle. <laughs> and then I order like two sizes too small. Oh Jesus. Help me, Jesus! I can't get it off. Oh, gonna tear my finger up. And then if I put it right there, it goes too far down, as you can see. So yeah, this is my damn knuckle ring for sure. I wish it was. I ordered a thumb ring too. I don't know what's up with me and these little rings. I just think that they're so adorable. Maybe one day I'll have a real true engagement ring, you know, where somebody give you a ring that they really, really mean, not where somebody just give you a ring when they don't mean it. Is that me throwing shade or is that me throwing shade? <laughs> Billy don't watch this anyway. He don't watch it no way. Um, what else was I gonna talk about? Y'all been riding with me for 13 minutes and I just feel like I'm just bouncing. I'm still bouncing. Stop camera. I even tightened it up. Like I feel like there's not a good holder, you know? All of them are a little raggedy. Hopefully I can get this uploaded because yesterday I said I was gonna upload it. And today, I've got my Wi Fi better be working. If my Wi Fi ain't working, I'm going to call and act a damn ass, okay? With some people. Y'all get out there and get my shit working. Basically. Just got Wi Fi and it's already down. You know how? Oh my God. Oh my God. Upsetting. That is. That's very upsetting. Very. Y'all, I'm going to get back on to doing my YouTube. I don't care if I got to put it in like with y'all riding to work with me a bitch gonna have y'all riding to work with me because i know the people that like to watch me they don't give a shit they don't give a damn if they watching me ride to work if they watching me sleep well y'all probably don't want to watch me sleep because i be snoring loud as fuck i don't see how people go live on tiktok and then they just be <sighs> i couldn't do that i couldn't do that y'all probably see my ass and everything girl well i'll be sleeping in bed when i if I put that sleepy stick on that I got from Posh, if I rub that on, uh, my temples and stuff, out. All night long, I'm out. I don't even remember moving, flipping, nothing. If I don't use that stuff, bro, I'll probably be in the bed doing a handstand trying to get comfortable. Y'all just see naked ass, you know? Because I don't wear no drawers. I do wear my nightgowns. Because if it's a fire, I want them... Um, firefighters that come to put my fire out, I want them to focus on my house. Not my pits and ass, you know, and my abs. Focus on my house, sir. Stop looking at me. So I do wear my nightgown just in case it's a fire or a tornado, because you know, a tornado come, blow you away, you 
end up in somebody's yard, you know, face down, knocked out, unconscious, and what if your dress is up? I think of a can y'all tell I'll be thinking about stuff a lot. If somebody's husband's there, maybe his wife's at work, and then he's tempted, and I'm like, no! You know, something like that. I don't want to land on somebody else's husband. I don't want to be a cheater. I don't want them to be a cheater. We can't be cheaters out here in this world because cheaters don't make it. Cheaters just get STDs and stuff. So don't be a cheater. Is that... If that's you, don't be a cheater, okay? Don't do it. I feel like my nose won't stop running, you know? I don't know what I did to deserve this, but it won't stop. Hey, I could do this with y'all every morning. I'm already at like 16. You gonna get on your side of the road? I'm already at like 16 minutes. <laughs> I hope that y'all can hear me because I know that Grizz always has a problem hearing me on this thing. All the time. She say, I turn my TV all the way up. Bring my microphone next time. Because I leave it, I leave it at home. Because I don't even think about recording. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Too early to be yelling at him. Because I don't even think about recording until I got in here. And then I was like, let me re-record. Because yesterday was like a 10 minute video. I'm going to be a little longer. Y'all, the family that we helped in Louisiana, it was a blessing. I want to thank all of y'all. Even if you just hit the like button, said a prayer or whatever, it just helped my video go farther. We ended up with those, with that family with five children. We were able to buy all the beds. They got um clothes, shoes. I think we got eight gifts apiece. Even the mama had gifts, new shoes, new clothes, DVD player, DVDs, the baby, uh, the oldest child. We was able to get a PS4. I want to thank Michelle for all her hard work. When I tell you that woman be going above and beyond, like she be going above and beyond, you know, and people should really appreciate her. If you are a part of Michelle's family, you should really appreciate her because that woman is amazing, okay? And then Sherry, of course, because Sherry's 15 minutes from there, so... Jerry found the family. She was about over, like above, and I kind of feel bad because I'm like, bro, I said I was gonna come down there. I didn't realize I was gonna be the only motherfucking person at work, sub, that knew how to do every damn thing, and I was gonna have to do it, and I was gonna have to work six days a week. But I can't complain because my check was two thousand dollars. My check will be because you can check your check early on Tuesdays. So I checked my shit this morning while I was taking a poop, and I'm like, oh shit. But I do kind of feel bad because I feel like I haven't been there physically to help Sherry deliver stuff. But she's been going back and forth. She lives about 15, 20 minutes or so. So she's been going back and forth delivering. So shout out to Sherry. Like, I really appreciate that. Miss Tequila, she always says, I didn't do nothing. You know, but if she didn't spread the word and she didn't let Tequila Nation know, you know, what was going on, some of those donations would have came in. So Tequila Nation donated a lot. Um, as well, but we were able to really bless the family for Christmas, y'all. I don't know if y'all have paid attention to the Cynthia lady that was getting bullied on TikTok, but I finally got her to put her cash up in her bio. So if you know who I'm talking about, you want to go over and just send them a little blessing, dollars, two dollars, whatever it is, y'all do that. This lady hasn't asked for anything. I don't know. I guess everybody on TikTok just felt moved to help her because all she was doing was dancing, having a good time, enjoying her life. Like, all them negative people just came out of nowhere. I don't understand how people just wake up and be like, oh... Well, let me try to ruin this bitch's day. Like, who hurt you, bruh? Who hurt you? Because whoever hurt you, we need to hurt them back. I don't get it. Like, the woman was just being her. And then I got on her live last night. I got into it with somebody that probably unfollowed me, which I don't give a damn. But she was all on her live, like, oh, my God, I hate you're getting help. That's awesome. But I hate that I can't even get help with my kids. I can't even buy my kids. Like, what did that got to do with you? Like, you really own her live because there's 300 people in here begging without begging? Like, that is not cute at all. And then she was like, I'm just saying, Alex, um, you're taking it the wrong way, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. We kind of got into it. And if I was, like, a real person, I would have been like, let me tell you something, you little crusty bitch. But I couldn't say that on live. But anyways, it just really upset me when people would get so upset because somebody else was receiving a blessing. Like, damn, bruh! Let them get their blessing! Shit, you can't stop what God got for somebody else. 
Y'all, I'm finna cut this off because I gotta get out and pump my gas. You know, I'm gonna pump my gas. Finally made it to a gas stop. He's like, how do you use your phone upstairs? I don't think. I don't know. I think you're supposed to get off your phone and cut your car off. <sighs> Y'all, mm-mm-mm. But I'm gonna get off here. Hopefully, when I get home, I can upload this video. That's what I really hope. And I really hope that y'all can hear me. I'll be looking up there at myself, but really, I need to be looking right here. But, anyways, thank y'all, everybody that comes by, shows me love, supports my YouTube channel. Like, thank you guys. I love you guys.